Damn, man. What up, y'all? Just shine. Out here trying to hurry up and be thirsty and <laughs> record this video. I forgot to turn my mic on. But like I said before, I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to do this video because really, really, you're not supposed to be outside. So this week, I'm going to keep it real brief, five to uh, five, ten minutes. Talk about the uh, bad air quality. I know all oh, y'all have it on the news how um, Chicago got uh, is the worst air quality as of right now due to uh, the Canada having uh, wildfires up there. So I pray that they get it together. You know what I'm saying? And they get it under control. But yeah, the uh, particles in the air is blowing back towards uh, the Midwest and the Eastern states. So um, we didn't see it on the news that New York has been covered <clears throat> with the particles um, and with a, a, a huge fog. I think it was like orange or something. Um, Detroit, they said... Uh, like we neck to neck with bad quality air with uh, Michigan and, and it's us, uh, Chicago. You know what I'm saying? We're not too far from Chicago. We're like 40 minutes from Chicago. So uh, when I last uh, looked at the news, they were saying that we was in the red. Now I'm going to go through the little six points that they um, told us about. The six points, they go by colors. So <clears throat> and colors and then it's the numbers. And I think we was like at 265 or something. So um, green being the best air um, is zero to 50. Moderate is 51 to 100. Sensitive group, which is me, if you got asthma, bronchitis, anything going on with your uh, your breathing pathogens, your air passages, you need to stay in the house, especially kids, grownups um, that got air, uh, old people, there's you. Um, unhealthy, oh well, nah, sensitive group, you, uh, it's inhaling such air can cause slight discomfort and difficulty in breathing. So this is the, the unhealthy people from 151 to 200. This is us. So this could be typically problematic for pregnant women, children, and elderly. So if you, if you in that area, please stay in the house. Um, un unhealthy that's 201 to 300 and hazard 301 to 500 so they were saying that we was in the purple the unhealthy and it keep uh you know very up and down so uh last week was at 265 so that means if you ain't got to go outside please stay in the house you know and I, me personally dealing with having to be outside due to job related reasons we're outside from like eight to ten hours i I know they saying put the mask on, but mask then uh, then cure COVID, and then it didn't stop COVID from you know stop people from getting COVID. So you know if you ain't gotta go outside, I feel like you shouldn't go outside. If it's work related, you know what I'm saying, and you feel unsafe, I wouldn't go to work. That's just me. I can't pay your bills if you get fired, but at the same time, you can't pay your bills neither if your ass dead due to uh, the air quality. You know what I'm saying? But I say do. If you are going to work, please be safe. Please watch out. And if you ain't feeling right, please take a seat. You know what I'm saying? Get you some AC. Get you some air. Something. You know what I'm saying? I know people like to roll, uh, ride with their windows rolled down. That's me. I love roll, uh, riding with my windows rolled down. Be careful with that. If you can ride with uh, the AC, do that. Just until the air clear up. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't be outside trying to, you know what I'm saying, do extra stuff until the air clear up. They're saying that we're supposed to be having rain next week. So it should uh, purify our stuff and clear it up a little bit, and we should get back to a point where we can be outside and we can move around. I know yesterday they was closing beaches in Chicago, so they really didn't want them out, out there. But if you ain't got to be outside, please don't be outside. You know what I'm saying? Not for long. If you got to, you know, run to the uh, grocery store real quick, you jump out the car, you jump in, you're going into where you're going, and then you come back out, you're jumping back in the car. That's cool. Or whatever. But if you outside, you trying to stand around, be cool or nothing, please don't. Go in the house. It's not even worth it. Excuse me, y'all. Um, just until, you know what I'm saying, they can clear it up. We're not going to be in the house the whole summer. And I know y'all agitated because we just had two years. Well, y'all just had two years in the house. And, you know, y'all couldn't really move around like y'all wanted to move around. Um, a few a few more days won't hurt y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just until the, uh, it gets uh, under control. And I feel like us as the people that uh, are here supposed to be gu uh, guiding or guarding the earth, we need to be a better job of polluting the air. You know what I'm saying? 
Nobody else has to deal with it but us. So if we're polluting the air, we got to deal with it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so the stuff that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, come on, man, we know better than that. <clears throat> so we need it, it needs to start with us because it's killing us. Uh, we killing us, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy that you got to say that to people for them to realize, like, it ain't the animals. The animals have been here doing the same thing they've been doing. The trees been doing the same thing they've been doing. It's us and our habits and the things that we're doing that's causing us to go through all this problematic stuff. And we wouldn't be going through all this stuff if we wasn't, if we could just chill, sit back, you know what I'm saying? If we ain't got to do some stuff, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to burn that gas. Don't burn that gas for gas. High as hell. I don't know where, where y'all at, but gas, damn, the $5 here a gallon. <clears throat> so if you ain't got to do it, by all means, if you ain't got to, you know what I'm saying, put it in the air, please don't. You know what I'm saying? We need to start working on clearing our air and cleaning up this earth because we got to live here. This our house. You know what I'm saying? And we, we, we dirtying up our own house. But like I said, I'm not, I'm gonna keep it real short, real brief. Please be safe out here. You know what I'm saying? Blessings to all those that's going through it. And um, just be safe. All right, peace. Love y'all.